This was my 10 gallon bed of Splendens aquascape. But I'm having a recurring issue with diatom algae in the tank. So I decided to remove the bed and the heater and clean the plants and hardscape up a bit and also reduce the intensity of the light by adding more masking tape to the glass canopy beneath the light. I have been feeding the beta scuds and oftentimes the scuds escape the beta so the tank should be infested with them but now that it's an unheated tank I intend to add some cherry shrimp and hopefully the species of scud that I acquired for free from a pet store aren't one that will I've heard that they can sometimes eat the eggs from beneath the tail of the female cherry shrimp and may kill shrimplets as well so oftentimes when keeping some species of scuds with cherry shrimp the shrimp colony tends to die off I hope that doesn't happen but I want to give it a go Now that I'm having good success culturing scuds in this 5.5 gallon breeder tank, I thought I might try something. I heard that scuds are very good at eating green hair algae and whenever I prune my plants I put the clippings in my Daphnia culture in the window where they quickly become covered in green hair algae so I thought perhaps this would be a better place to try to propagate those clippings and perhaps I won't have the issue of green hair algae and since I have a few viable plants from my Daphnia culture I want to set something up here for the rooted plants. Now in the corner I previously put some coal slag in the front right to feed the shrimp that were previously in this tank. If I drop algae wafers among the gravel a good part of it would be lost but with that type of a substrate The algae wafer sits on top of the coal slag. So I'd like to do something similar in the center here because gravel doesn't hold the roots down all that well and I believe the roots will find it easier to find nutrient among coal slag. So I'll dig a spot out in the center and replace that with coal slag where I can place the rooted plants. Here are the rooted plants in the coal slag in the center. They have some green hair algae attached. Perhaps the scuds will eat that up. Here floating in the corner are some other plant clippings that are heavily infested with green hair algae. Perhaps the scud culture will eat that. I'm not sure. They probably prefer the bananas that I offer them. But after a while I'll see if it's worth putting plant clippings into the scud culture. Here's a look at my 10 gallon cherry shrimp tank. 
I previously had some Gabon Keeley fish fry in this tank with the shrimp but as they were about big enough to begin devouring shrimplets I moved them on to the Keeley fish tank a 29 gallon and as you can see there's very little algae in the tank now when I remove the Keeley fish subadults I did put the Java moss in disarray but it's doing very well in this tank so it should soon right itself and start to look much better at the moment I have all of my cherry shrimp in this tank but I hope to move them on to other tanks I found that a good way to select breed cherry shrimp is just take the best specimens onto the next aquascape and over doing that several times the line continues to improve 